Parkinson's is a chronic brain disease without a cure. An innovative drug candidate called CDNF offers new hope for people with Parkinson's. This educational video explains why CDNF could make a huge difference. Parkinson's is caused by the death of dopamine-producing neurons in the midbrain. As a consequence, there is not enough dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is an important neurotransmitter. Without enough dopamine, we lose the ability to control our movements. This causes the motor symptoms of Parkinson's, such as tremor and rigidity. There are currently treatments that alleviate symptoms in many people with Parkinson's. Unfortunately, they don't stop disease progression. The dopamine-producing neurons continue to die, and eventually all treatments lose their efficacy. CDNF is an investigational drug that aims to stop the progression of Parkinson's. It was discovered around 2005 at the University of Helsinki by the research group of Professor Mart Sama, a leading scientist in the field of neurotrophic factors. Neurotrophic factors are proteins produced by our bodies to support the survival and function of nerve cells. Unlike common small molecule drugs, CDNF is a natural protein for humans, as it is constantly present in our brain and blood. It is now known that the levels of CDNF may decline as we age. From a biological viewpoint, CDNF is a neuroprotective agent, which means it protects neurons in different circumstances and helps to keep them alive. This is crucial because the adult human brain is highly restricted in its capacity to generate new nerve cells, such as those destroyed in Parkinson's. Academic studies have shown that CDNF works via multiple mechanisms relevant to Parkinson's. Here are some simplified explanations of some of these mechanisms. One important feature of CDNF is its ability to protect cells from so-called ER stress. ER stress is a cell-level reaction that adversely affects many central functions of a cell, and therefore prolonged ER stress may eventually trigger cell death. ER stress is central to Parkinson's and many other neurodegenerative diseases. However, when stressed cells receive CDNF, they recover and in the case of dopamine-producing neurons, start producing dopamine again. In addition, CDNF helps to reduce the impact of toxic proteins in the brain. One such protein is alpha-synuclein, a protein that aggregates and forms Lewy bodies in the brain in Parkinson's. CDNF also alleviates neuroinflammation, which is inflammation of the brain tissue associated with Parkinson's. Reducing this inflammation helps prevent the dopamine-producing neurons from slowly degenerating and eventually dying. Overall, the efficacy of CDNF has been shown in numerous preclinical models of Parkinson's in both genetic and toxin-based models. In those models, CDNF has stopped and even to some extent reversed the progression of the disease. If CDNF works as well in humans as it has worked in preclinical disease models, CDNF could stop the progression of Parkinson's. Thanks to the leading science and considerable potential to advance the treatment of Parkinson's, the European Union has awarded a significant grant for the clinical development of CDNF. The EU has good reason to support such an innovative development. The estimated societal cost associated with Parkinson's is approximately 15 billion euro each year in Europe. An efficacious therapy would reduce both the human suffering and the economic burden. The EU project is called Treat ER and it involves the EPDA, the European Parkinson's Disease Association, to ensure that the patient's viewpoint remains central. Three European university hospitals with leading expertise in Parkinson's are also members of the project consortium. In the first clinical study, CDNF is administered directly into the midbrain using a sophisticated drug delivery system. This requires a surgical procedure which is similar to the surgery required for the implantation of deep brain stimulation or DBS devices, an advanced therapy to alleviate the symptoms of Parkinson's. 
Once the drug delivery system is in place, the patient visits his or her doctor once a month for a dose of CDNF. Please visit the EU Project's website, treater.eu, for more information on the clinical study and the related scientific research. CDNF is patented and developed by a public drug development company, Herantis Pharma. We welcome you to learn more at our website, herantis.com.